welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure okay look i have a message from your soul something that you need to hear this is in particular is uh, pertaining to your creative side your creative side <clears throat> It has been desperately craving your attention. If this, if you clicked on this video, this video is for you. You may be a creator and you may be in a odd space um, to say so. Like you may be in an odd place with your creations with your creative nature, with your creative side, it may have been a little while since you have tapped into your creative nature. For one, your soul wants you to know that it's okay. It's okay, it's okay to take a break. It's okay to not feel creative. It's okay to not be interested in something that you were once interested in before. It's okay to pivot. It's okay to grow. It's okay to change your mind. But your creative side has been desperately craving your attention. So maybe something that you was once doing, you may not be interested in it, or you may not be interested in it at the current moment. But you, your soul wants to be more creative. It's a very expressive thing. Like your soul wants to express itself. It wants to be free. It feels like it's been bottled up inside a bottle and put on the shelf. It's only so much creativity that has been happening. and Your soul desperately craves to be creative. You are a very creative person. You're very artsy, like you're very talented. You haven't been using your talents to the best of your abilities. You've been sleeping on a lot of your talents, actually. There's ones that you haven't visited in a while. There's others that you think about wanting to do, but you've been letting other things distract you or you just haven't been feeling creative your soul wants you to know that it's your environment it's your environment you're not being motivated by your environment your environment is like if you was motivated by your environment it doesn't make you feel the best on what would come out it doesn't make you feel the best, but your soul wants you to know that even if it didn't feel the best coming out, or even if you didn't want like, per se, like the world to know, or just like, you don't want to be reminded of that. Maybe that's exactly what you need. Maybe you need to be reminded that you're not 100% happy within your environment maybe you need that reminder maybe you need to get it out maybe you need to speak with someone about it maybe you need to keep it real for once with with yourself and with others maybe it's time to pivot maybe it's time to just say i'm going to give it a shot one day one day i'm just going to pick up the pen one day i'm going to pick up the paper one day i'm going to pick up the paintbrush one day i'm going to go to the studio one day i'm going to try that again i'm going to do it again i'm going to get in the kitchen like whatever it is whatever it is your soul wants to try new things as well your soul desperately it is desperate it is crying out silently though but i think you feel it i think you feel it too i think you do your soul is speaking to you but you're ignoring your soul you're acting as if your soul has don't have more say so over your mind your mind has been running the ship for quite some time now your mind has been like doing whatever it wants to do. 
but your soul has been put on the back burner and it's desperately craving your creative side because you're very creative. You are a creation in itself. <laughs> your soul wants you to get back in your element. No matter if that looks different this time around, your soul just wants some, some movement, wants some progress. Your soul just wants to be let out of that bottle. At least let into the room. Your soul wants to be free. Your soul really, really, really wants you to tap into your creative side, your creative nature. You've done some very, very bossy things. You've created some very, very bossy pieces. Like I said, you're a creation in itself. Your soul wants you to express yourself through your image, through your avatar. Your soul wants you to be more mindful of the way that you move. Because every day you step out is a representation of who you are. And you're much more than what you have been portraying yourself to be. Your soul desperately craves your creative side. That side that didn't care, that side that was expressive and whatever it was that they were feeling was expressive and however they like wanted to be that day and that moment. Your soul wants you to be free. That's all. Your soul wants you to be happy. Your soul wants you to really share your gifts and really share your talents with the world. You got so much stuff that you're sleeping on, that you're sitting on. Now you're saying that it's old. Now you're saying that it has, it's not worth nothing. It's not worthy. You're not worthy. Your soul wants you to speak highly of yourself and move every single day as if you was like, as if you knew who the heck you you are, because you do. But somehow, you get you have moments where you seem to forget. Your soul desperately craves your creative side. Your creative side is screaming inside that bottle and all you hear is mumbo. You are tuning it out and your soul says enough is enough. Please don't tune me out anymore. Your soul is uh, tired of being tuned out to the fact that it's hurting. It's hurting to stay stagnant in the ways in which you have stayed stagnant. Your soul says it's okay. <laughs> It's okay if it's something new. It's okay if it's something different. It's okay if it's a little scary. What's the worst that can happen? It's okay that if it's a little scary. Watch how things work itself out. Watch how things work itself out. Only thing that you're going to wish that you did was tap into it sooner. You've been tap you've been you've been kind of playing the fence. And your soul desperately urges you to tap into your creative side, tap into your creativeness. You're such a creative person. You are, but you haven't you haven't really been acting as like so. You haven't. Like, let's just be honest here. Your soul desires that because that's who you are at the core. That's the stuff that brings you joy. That's the stuff that you would do if nobody paid you or not. That's the stuff that like you really put your heart and soul into. That's that soul stuff. Your creativity and it's top notch, okay? You're very good at what you do. Everything you do, you be crushing. Like everything you do, you be doing it well. But when you don't practice it, you kind of feel like it's not that important or you prioritize other things. Your soul is tired of you prioritizing other things. Your soul just want to get back in its groove, get back in its creative nature, get back in its element. 
your soul wants to get back into its element. And it's going to take for you to quiet down your mind and tell your mind that this, this is not what we're doing today. This is not what we're doing at this moment. This is what we're doing. Show your mind who the boss is. Tap into your creative side. Tap into your creative nature. That's what your soul wants you to do. So if this video resonates, if it hit different, let me know how so. If you are new here, I do invite you to hit that subscribe button. If you don't have Chime already, I do have, um, I got some spots left, but not too many. So there's $100 waiting on you. You have to click the link down in my description box. It's 100% legit, okay? <laughs> Chime is a mobile banking app. It's, it's sweet. There's no monthly fees. You can build your credit on there. Like You can get cash advances. It's just so much that comes to it. You have to check it out yourself. But sign up with my link to ensure that you get your $100. That is all I have for this video. Stay spiritually used. Stay spiritually in tune. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.